Hey guys, okay, so now we're on, we're, uh, but we're driving to the airport to fly to Colorado um, for this spring break week. So it's not that interesting, it's just I thought I should let you guys know that we're almost at the airport to go to Colorado. We are at the airport. We are at the airport to go to Colorado. Well, we're not in the airport, we're, we are at the airport. we're, we're driving airport. through the roads towards the airport. We are at the airport. Mine. There are planes around us and the buildings. So the that terminals. just means that we're near the airport. We're just past terminals oh, A and B. Okay, God. fine. We're at the airport. <laughs> <laughs> we're not in the airport, we're at the airport oh to go to Colorado. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> and um, oh yeah, and I wrote a song this morning, so get ready, because I'm gonna put that up on my music channel. If you don't know what that is, the link is down there. He's gonna sing it once he gets in the airport, not yeah. at the airport. I'm gonna sing it to everyone and see what they think in, before I post it. In the airport. In the airport. Not at the airport. Right. If I was sing <laughs> I'd be singing right now if I was singing while I was at the airport. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, so that checkpoint was really, really ridiculously busy, as most airport check air airpoint airport checkpoints are. So we're going to a different one that's hopefully a lot lighter. I'm assuming it'll be a lot lighter because the guy just came by and told us that it was because um, he was nice and he told us the faster way to get through it. Anyway, yeah. Okay, so every single time I go here, I always have to take off my belt because it'll set the thing off and it's the most obnoxious thing. So I'm thinking of maybe just not even taking it off and seeing if it sets it off. What do you think? Should I take it off anyway or should I risk I think, it? Uh, I think you should risk it. You gonna risk it? Or you think I should risk it? Keep my belt on instead of taking it off? See if it sets it off or not? No, don't risk it. I'll be the weird one. Okay, so it's it's one-on-one. -on -one. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it, yeah. Okay, so I tried risking it, but my belt beeped, so I had to take it off anyway. So lame. Is that... Okay, yeah, let's go we found the people it. Walker. No, we need go? to make healthy choices. And I want to go for like 50 yards. Okay, fine. Only if we run on it. I'll be healthy. Alright, let's go. Run, run! We should be faster than him. We're on the, on the thing. <laughs> okay, Brian won. Oh well, whatever. So yeah, just just food for thought. When you have a bell, just take it off. Because then you'll have to step back and they'll, they'll look at you accusingly. Look at this escalator. Whoa. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Okay, so Okay, so we got here and we were like an hour and a half early for our flight. So we've been sitting here playing like solitaire on the computer and stuff. Um, and now they finally start boarding, so we should be going on pretty soon. Pretty soon. But for right now we've just been doing what we've been doing for the past hour and a half. This. exactly what we've been doing. Okay, here we go. We got our baggage, we got our passes, and we're heading up to the plane. Brian, we're gonna touch the outside of the plane? Yeah. We're gonna touch the outside of the plane. Okay, it's gonna be a rush. Are you ready? Okay, well, no, not yet. We still have, still have ways to go. But when we when we get there, we're gonna touch the outside of the plane. It's gonna be so exciting. I might even, my, my heart might just burst. Uh, too much adrenaline, you know? Okay, so we landed in Denver, um, and then we're gonna drive to Breckenridge, which is like an hour and a half away. So it's another long trip. So we need to go to the rental car place and go there. This just looks pretty cool. We're gonna have to take the train right there. Or what? We're gonna have to take that train. There's a train down there. There's a train down. There's a train in this airport. Whoa. 
So anyway, I'll see you guys when we start driving. So, so we're on our shuttle right now to go get our rental car. And I feel like the king because I'm like elevated by everyone else and sitting in the back just watching. From the king. Brian is a gesture. <laughs> hey guys, we're in our rental car right now. I just wanted to let you know the boys are back in town. Because that's on the radio. So they must be around here somewhere. So, for our rental car, we decided to go with a Dodge Caliber, I think. I think that's what, that's what we're in right now. Anyway, <laughs> um, and it's it's like the nicest one that we found in the, in the E section. So, look, those are the mountains that we're going to over there. You can see them. The snow, there's some snow over there. Anyway, so we're gonna go into the mountains and we're just driving. And I have nothing else to say to you people, so there. Snow! Yes. Thanks, Thank you for the call. I'm talking about pet peeves on the radio. I relate to almost all of them so far. And they're pretty funny. Patriot, Liberty, and our most luxurious Jeep vehicle, the 20th. since we lost since we last saw snow in Texas so we're kind of it's exciting for us because it's been almost a month where we were trapped and not being able to go anywhere because of all the ice and the snow but this is nice <laughs> This trip to the mountains is nice and all. I just I wish we had a prettier landscape. Everything around here is just such an eyesore, you know? You know what I'm saying? I mean, just look at that. It's just oh that would never the homo association wouldn't stand for that in our city. Uh, no. I mean that's just disgusting. Sarcasm. Oh, that's cool. So we need to leave one on 
It's like our own like like little armored shelter. If this is zombie apocalypse. I'm in here. Hey guys. So I'm vlogging in the bathroom just because I wanted to show you. I don't know where to. I'm. I'm looking. I think this is looking at you right now. I just wanted to show you how freaking small this toilet is. Okay, look. It's super, super tiny. Like, if I'm standing next to this toilet, look how small it is. It goes up to, it's like half my shin. That's how high it goes. It's the most ridiculous thing ever. Like, from here, you can't tell very much on the camera, but it's a small, small toilet. Anyway, um, I just wanted to share that with you all because I know you wanted to know how small the toilet is in our room. But we're here. Yeah. I don't even know what I'm doing. Hey guys, what is up? Um, we're walking through town right now. And there's a light, light hint of snow that's coming down. And it's pretty nice. I like it. I'm not, like, I don't know, like, because we, we just had this weather recently. The snow got my eyes, sorry. We had this weather recently. Um, but you know, I kind of like the weather. I kind of like it. So we're trying to find a place to eat. And it's pretty much deserted. Still just looking for a place to eat. And the snow is starting to come down a little bit harder. As you could... If you can see it. I don't know if the camera can pick it up. But the snow's starting to come down a little harder. Is the pasta and, or crepes? Oh, huh. I can go for pasta, personally. I don't know. Oh, Are you okay. going to walk up by your pants? No, no, I'm not about my pants. Um, sorry, it's a joke. So, we were at the jacuzzi, and um, there were like... We were sitting in our jacuzzi, and there was two girls in this jacuzzi over here. And they were just staring at us. Like, they were staring right at us. And then we were just like, we both looked at each other and we were like, uh, oh, they're staring right at us. So then I just stared back and then they stopped. That was the end of my day. I'm going to bed. Good night.